on to another case. This is um, the Ohio 9th District Court case of uh, Glover versus Glover. This is a case that was decided in 2003. Um, this is a case between Tracy, uh, the female, and Terry, the male. And in this case, uh, in 1981, Tracy and Terry agreed to be married in the future, and already a red flag should should go up that this is not going to work. That's definitely not going to be the beginning date in this common law marriage if one exists. Uh, they cohabitate for 21 years. Uh, Terry gives Tracy a ring she wore on her left hand. That's a different twist on a fact. Um, there is a child born in this relationship. Terry signs as a husband to enter uh, the delivery room to watch the birth of apparently his biological child. In 1989, Tracy designates Terry as a friend, uh, as a beneficiary to her life insurance policy. Uh, again, that would be a fact that would be inconsistent with uh, being married. So the Ninth District Court, uh, well, the trial court, uh, conclusion in this case was that Tracy was not a common law wife of Terry and was not entitled to any share of assets. So apparently after a uh, substantial time in this relationship, uh, one of the two sought a divorce and uh, upon seeking a divorce asked for a division of the assets over the last 20 years of the relationship and the court basically said, Tracy, uh, you are not a common law wife. Any assets that Tracy would have accumulated are in her name and would not be divisible with Terry. And any assets that Terry acquired in his name uh, would not be divisible with Tracy. In that case, after that relationship, uh, despite the fact that there was a birth of a child, um, there was no common law marriage. Uh, this was this uh, case, Tracy went to the Ohio 9th District Court of Appeals and it was affirmed in uh, the, tri the trial court's conclusion was affirmed by the Ohio 9th District Court case. There was no common law merit. The last case that I want to go over is the Fuentes v. Fuentes case, which was decided by the Ohio 8th District Court, another case coming out of uh, Cuyahoga County, uh, decided in 2007. Uh, in order to illustrate this case, um, the reason why I picked it was because it emphasizes the second exception to the prohibition of common law marriage in the state of Ohio, which is covered under Ohio Revised Code section 3105.12. 3105.12 prohibits common law marriage in the state of Ohio. However, there are two exceptions. Uh, the second exception is that they will protect common law marriage in the state of Ohio if it's entered into uh, in other states. And in this instance, because it's an election year, I picked uh, colored states in order to illustrate this point. Uh, the state of Ohio in blue is the interpreting uh, state, and the laws of Kansas uh, in red are the laws in which are being interpreted. In this case of Fuentes v. Fuentes, um, in 2002, Heather and McGool meet on the internet. Heather lives in Kansas, and McGool is a soldier in the United States Army stationed in Japan. In 2002, McGool transfers to Fort Riley, uh, Kansas. Uh, McGool moves into Heather's home. In 2004, Heather clicks her heels three times and moves to Ohio. In 2005, Heather files for divorce and requests a split of the marital assets. So the trial court in the Fuentes case uh, interprets Kansas law and I took a peek at Kansas law with regard to common law marriage and it's very similar to the common law marriage requirements in the state of Ohio. Um, and so the court in Cuyahoga County interpreted that Kansas uh, law and concluded that there was no common law marriage. That uh, living together is not enough to show a present agreement to get married. Uh, no common law marriage existed, therefore no assets would be divided. That's what the trial court held. Uh, Heather uh, clicked her heels three times again and appealed to the Ohio 8th District Court. And uh, in the Ohio 8th District Court, it affirmed the trial court. And at the end of that case, uh, at the end of that ruling, uh, rather, 
Uh, Heather, she definitely had to feel as though she wasn't in Kansas anymore. 